A tram carries drinking water instead of passengers in the southern frontline city of Mykolaiv. In the third year of war, this has become the normal way to transport water. Everyone in the city knows us and waits for us. The line stretches 10 meters long, each person with several empty barrels. People are already used to it, unfortunately. Both the old and the young draw that water constantly. Nearly half a million residents live in Mykolaiv, and there has been no drinking water here since the start of Russia's full-scale invasion. Russians decided to use a new type of weapon, to leave a city of half a million people without water, and they blew up our water supply. It was impossible to immediately repair the damage. All water collection systems were in the neighboring Kherson region occupied at the time. When Ukrainian forces partially took back part of the region from Russian control, the water supply was renewed, but not for long. The Russian army shelled it again from a distance. We recorded from three to two dozen shell attacks every day. This water intake is located on the right bank of the Dnipro River, and the left is only 900 meters away. The only option was to take water from the estuary on which the city stands. It is salty and suitable only for sewage needs, and it destroys pipes. We had dozens and dozens of breaks. We had about as much water coming out of the pipes as we pumped. Water distribution points were set up around the city to give out water from wells for drinking and cooking. Meanwhile, the tram carries water to places far away from these distribution points. I carried water for a year, and then I bought a wheelbarrow. My hands hurt. There are 18 liters here, enough for one week for me. Now, with the Russian invaders no far away, the city faces two challenges. The first is to replace damaged water pipes. The Danish government is assisting. They help with new pipes, pumping equipment and various utility equipment. Right now, with Danish help, we are changing the water supply system in the entire neighborhood. The other challenge is to build a water intake station. Officials have already identified a spot, but building the station will take time and a huge budget. The soonest they predict the city will have clean water on tap is next year. Lesia Bakalets, News, Mykolaiv, Ukraine.